someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. None of the Wardens we saw wavered. They gave their lives willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. We stopped him. We saved most of the Wardens. But not all of them. And they died thinking they were doing something good. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. At the end of the day, I guess all we can do is try. And hope for the best. You're right. What matters is that we never give up. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. I am at your service. How are you doing? Good business. In this gilded fortress? How could we not be? Skyhold needs a healthy flow of goods. How can I help? You've cleared two of the major hubs and restored trade to many. Gratitude would flow if this continued. We'll speak another time. Certainly, Lord Inquisitor. There's a rumor that Corypheus is in league with Elven forces. Which would those be? The mighty standing army of that land they don't have? You can't trust them. I don't know. History says it's the other way around. What history do you know? You're a dwarf. Right. Ooh, I'm scared and confused by your strange sky. <laughs> <laughs> 